One of my favorite mitt work drills for creating balance, stability, and firing up the muscles we need for effective boxing technique. I've been wanting to do this on the channel for a long time. I can't believe it's took me this long, but here it is. We're gonna go through four basic punches so I can show you the drill. And then the second half of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can just step it up a little bit and incorporate some reactions as well. So super effective for building that. So stay tuned for that part. So let's get to the, the basic drill first. Uh, we're gonna start with the jab to demo the number one. All we're gonna do is have the boxer throw the punch and freeze at the end of the punch and hold it on the pad. So he's gonna freeze on that jab right there. Now all I'm gonna do is push plenty of weight against him and I'm just immediately getting him to fire up that shoulder, his grip, his fist, his core, his legs, his whole body, everything that he needs right there to stay on balance is firing. So I'm gonna have him hold that punch and I'm gonna push against him for like two or three seconds just to get everything to fire and then go right back to his stance. So punch and hold. <laughs> Two, one, release, good. See how he kind of lost his balance a little bit at the end there, but that's what it's for, right? I'm challenging him to stay on balance, really dig the feet into the ground. Now we're gonna do it with the cross, same thing, but it's gonna fire a different part of the core, and obviously it's gonna fire his right shoulder instead of his left shoulder. So punch, hold, and now I'm just pushing against him right there, really trying to make him feel it, you feel that? Breathing the whole time too, core tight, he's in the legs, good. Now we're gonna do it with the hook, so same thing, but we're now way more rotated, so it's gonna fire that core even more, and it's gonna fire a different part of the shoulder. You're gonna get the forearm and the elbow up on this one, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult too. Uh, hook, and now I'm pushing back that way. Yep, good. And then last one, back to the right side for the uppercut. Now it's gonna really work that bicep, because the arm's bent. Feel that? Good, rest. So there's how you execute the drill. Now let's just do a quick demo of how I would play that out in a, in a training session. So we're just gonna freestyle it now. So same thing, punch and hold. Good, hold. Good, stay on balance, watch that back foot, screw it into the ground. Now he's gotta react as well. Good. So it's just really training the body to just fire up and freeze on impact. So when you translate that to an actual punch, now that that's developed and built into him for a second, now he can really whip and he should feel a lot more unbalanced and explosive from there. Just fire straight two and come right back to your stance. <laughs> yep, hook, <laughs> good, uppercut, <laughs> two, <laughs> good. So you can drill it, push on the mitt or the glove for two or three seconds, get him to really fire up the muscles and the balance, and then go into some, some punching from there. So there's the drill. Uh, before I get to the reactive part, we touched on it a little bit there, but I'm gonna show you how you can step it up a level. Before we get to that, just a quick reminder, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, then you're notified of the new videos coming out each week. Any comments or questions you have, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll get right back to you, I read all the comments, so anything you wanna see on the channel, put it in there and we'll get it, we'll get it going. Now that's out of the way, this is how we can make it a little bit more reactive. So with this one, rather than holding a punch and me pressing against him, I'm just gonna do it while he's in his stance, right? And I'm gonna pick a side. So his gloves are up right there, he's in his boxing stance. Now this is great for shoulder endurance. I love doing this drill. So I'm gonna pull down on that right glove, right? I'm gonna create pressure, pushing down, make it as difficult as he can. His main goal right here is to not let me pull that glove past his chin. So he's gotta try and keep that hand up. So I'm gonna push down. Now reaction here, I'm pushing on that right side. I'm gonna get him to react from his left. As soon as he feels me release that tension, I'm gonna put my mitt in place and have him fire the lead hook. Boom, okay? And then I'll show you how we can do it on the other side too. So, ready, tension, hold it. Go, oh. nice, right back in. Yeah, so I'm keeping him right. As soon as the hook's landed, the job's not done. So he's feeling that right shoulder burn, his arms fired up, his core tight, legs are working. Go, oh. nice, good. And then that's how you can get that reaction, re reactive element out of it by feel. So as soon as he feels that release, boom, right? Now, if you're training boxers and fighters, it's a great instinct to have to, as soon as they feel like a release of pressure or a, a slight dip in intensity, bang, you can catch them and, and find those openings that way. Uh, let's go to the other side now. So I'm gonna uh, work on the lead hand. I'm gonna use my back mitt, my right mitt, to kind of push down on that lead shoulder. As soon as I release the tension, we're gonna go right uppercut. Yeah, nice, good. And again, create the tension, put the pressure in, and there, he just reacts as soon as he feels that release, right? So if we were inside and put it into a fight scenario for a second, and I'm actually trying to get control of his gloves right here, and as soon as he feels me kind of switch off, bang, he can react, because he kind of feels that in his training a little bit. So it can play out in a fight scenario too, but just a great drill from a fitness standpoint too, in terms of building up that shoulder endurance, and just getting the whole body to fire 
especially when they're in a, a rotated position for core development and, and, and getting that balance and base in the legs. It's a great drill. So try this one out. Let me know how it goes. Leave your feedback in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check this one out right here. My best warm-up drill on the mitts, the one that I use quite a lot in sessions. Great drill for uh, really getting clearing out the shoulders and, and getting the, the brain and coordination fired up for your boxing fitness session. So check that one out as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Thank you.